so the difference one major difference between a hydrocarbon and an alcohol is of the hydroxyl group <coughs> sorry <coughs> in the hydroxyl group as you can see we have hydrogen we have an hydrogen atom attached to uh, to an electronegative atom so this is one big difference between a hydrocarbon and an alcohol in alcohol we have this hydroxyl group in which the H atom is attached to an electronegative atom here O because of this there is one fundamental uh, concept of hydrogen bonding that comes into play okay so we know that we know about hydrogen bonding right so what is hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding is that where when a hydrogen atom is attached to an electronegative atom this kind of gains a negative charge on it there is a positive charge on it this is because of the high electronegativity of the OH atom which attracts the bonded pair of electrons between O and H towards itself so because of this we have hydrogen bonding acting in case of alcohol okay so what does hydrogen bonding do well, let's see hydrogen bonding okay two molecules or two or more molecules of alcohols are attached to other molecules of alcohol via hydrogen bonding okay let's uh, get a picture of it okay uh, we have r o h this is one molecule of an alcohol we have another molecule of alcohol we have another molecule of alcohol so this is the hydrogen bonding that we are talking about because of this hydrogen bonding the boiling point of this alcohol is raised to a considerable extent okay so we can write like this boiling point is directly proportional to hydrogen bonding the more hydrogen bonding a molecule has the greater is the boiling point okay so this is the reason why alcohols have a higher boiling point than corresponding hydrocarbons alcohols have higher boiling point than corresponding hydro carbons ok because of hydrogen bonding right so let's see what happens in case of ethers so what is an alcohol the general formula for an alcohol is R O H ether it's R O R dash carbonyl compounds which is R C double bond O R dash okay so when we compare these three the boiling when we compare the boiling points of these three different functional groups we see that the boiling point of R O H is greater than the boiling point of ROR dash 
which is still greater than the boiling point of carbonyl compounds. Now why is it so? The simple explanation to this is in case of alcohol we have this hydrogen atom directly attached to an electronegative atom that is O in this case but in case of ether we do not have such independence the, there is no hydrogen atom directly attached to this oxygen which is a more electronegative atom so we have hydrogen bonding playing its role over here which makes the boiling point of alcohols greater than that of ethers same is the case with carbonyl compounds ok so we got a general idea that alcohols have a greater boiling point than ethers it still have a greater boiling point than carbonyl compounds because alcohol have this very fundamental property of hydrogen bonding ok let's move on then. so let's try and do one question which was asked in IIT J 2002 so the question was arrange these in order of increasing boiling point ok so the it was one butanol second one is one butanol the third one is butanoic acid uh, now friends I would uh, rather suggest you to pause the video for a second and try this question on yourself so that uh, you get a general idea of this hydrogen bonding stuff and uh, you can come up with a solution ok uh, I'll be doing this question uh, right now but I would uh, suggest you that you pause the video for a while think upon the question answer it and then match your answers with the solution which, has, uh, which I'm going to give right now ok so uh, <coughs> you see uh, talking about butanol and uh, butanol we know that this has higher boiling point uh, butanol has higher boiling point than that of butanol ok now the question arises one, two, three, four, okay, about butanoic acid we know that uh, this hydrogen atom is still is uh, attached with this oxygen atom in case of carboxylic acid also this is a carboxylic acid ok so butanoic acid to be particular ok so butanoic acid can exhibit more hydrogen bonding than that of alcohols ok so what would be the general trend then butanoic acid then the alcohol and then the aldehyde so acids have the highest boiling point in this case followed by alcohol again followed by aldehydes ok just because of we can answer we answered this question on the fundamentals of hydrogen bonding ok